in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can run match defense against the U trips in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video, we're taking a look at the nickel 335 will defense out of the Chicago Bears defensive playbook. Also, if you're new to the channel, I want to let you know that if you want to get all of my ebooks, the Nickel 335 Will happens to be one of 15 offensive and defensive ebooks that I've released over the course of the Madden 22 season. You can get everything by joining my Patreon membership. I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can join the Patreon. You can join the Patreon today for just $10 a month and literally get access to everything, all the schemes, all the offenses and defenses that I have. On the website we've also got a lot more coming uh, over the course of the next couple of weeks i've been a little bit under the weather the last two weeks but i'm kind of getting back to strength so really excited to kind of get you guys up to speed on a couple of things here so we're going to talk today about uh cover four quarters i'm kind of getting back into match and the reason why i'm getting back into match is because man coverage has improved um but really what you want to do is balance right you want to mix everything you want to mix zone drops with match with man coverage you need to kind of know how all these things work and i just keep coming back to cover four uh this year i think it's really good uh, we're going to talk today about cover four quarters uh, but you could also run uh, some palms against this as well all right guys so uh, i'm just going to come out in kind of a basic uh passing play here uh, out of the U trips, we're gonna come out and Y option wheel. I think is probably the hardest play to stop in this formation, and then we're gonna come out and cover four quarters. Now, cover four quarters is a match defense. We actually have a full defensive guide devoted to teaching some of the principles of this in the Patreon. I've also got uh, a ton of variations of this. The beauty of nickel three three five will is we can create this kind of front right here just by showing blitz. We can kind of hot blitz them if we want to. Uh, based off the of situation. So, for example, um, because we have trips, whenever you have trips and you're playing quarters, essentially this is a split field coverage. And so what we're going to do here is this safety is going to kind of help or poach onto any kind of crosser coming from the right side of the screen or onto the number three receiver if he goes on a vertical route. Well, if we don't think that's going to happen, this guy is kind of like a freestyle player. So let's say, for example, we want to send some pressure at him. Well, we can bring this guy off the edge right here, and we still are playing our match coverage. And then let's say, for example, we want to use her, this guy right here. And then you'll see, you know, we're going to have, all I'm going to do is hold left trigger, kind of come down just a little bit, and you'll see the pressure come in. It's a little five-man blitz, and then I can kind of help on the tight end as a, as a user responsibility. So I'm just saying, you know, you might want to mess around with that from time to time. In this specific formation, I think there's a lot of bang for your buck out of quarters uh, just with the way that it's going to align and match up. So you get a look that looks kind of like this, you know, kind of give them a look like that. And then let's say they snap this ball on you. Oh, you're going to kind of help on that tight end. Pressure comes in, and you see the defense looks pretty good. Okay, well, so uh, how I like to set the quarters up if I was going to play coverage, though, um, obviously you can still show blitz if you want to. Um, but what I want to say is this guy, like I said, really important. This guy right here is kind of a freestyle player. Okay, so if you're in a set and it looks kind of like this, well, we can go ahead and take this guy and user him over the middle of the field. Right, we could just kind of sit in here like this. Maybe give him a look that looks kind of like this out of the quarter shell. And now what we can do is one of my favorite little pieces of adjustments out of quarters. And what that is is we're going to go ahead and blitz him because he's kind of, a, like I said, a freestyle player. We're going to bluff blitz the defensive tackle on the right side of the screen, as you see right there. And then we're going to drop the uh, other defensive tackle into a spy. So we get a nice little two-man rush on the outside here. And then we're going to man up the middle linebacker onto whoever we want, whether it be the running back, whether it be the slot, whether it be the tight end. I think in U-trips it makes a lot of sense to man that guy up on the tight end. Now, essentially what you're going to get on the backside here, uh, let me just show you kind of the seam wheel concept, is you're going to get pretty good coverage, honestly. Um, you'll see right here this little seam wheel that is so good oftentimes isn't that good against match. One of the reasons why uh, I actually really like this call uh, against this. Now, another thing that's really important is you wanna make sure that your corner, especially your corner on the right side of the screen, is not pressing. If he, it, It's going to help your defense significantly if he is not pressed up because then you're not gonna get burned over the top. So I like to manually back him off. 
and you see this is kind of the coverage shell that we get. Now what's interesting about U-trips and something that Decroft uh, kind of started doing a lot out of this formation is a motion of the slot or the outside. So one of these two guys going in motion kind of to create a concept that looks like this. Well, if you, if you take a look at the formation here, you're gonna notice something really important. Notice here that now the three receiver side is completely flipped, as you can see. So if they go in motion like that, what I like to do is go ahead and literally flip my play and basically kind of create the same concept, except now I'm over here, right? Now my user is over here, and then you know while he's going in motion, we're kind of setting up our, our adjustments. We still like to man up uh, in this example, maybe on the, on the running back, you know, and then we're kind of standing right here with our user. And the reason why I like to do this is because this is going to help kind of alleviate some of those concepts that are so powerful. Now, do you have to do this? You really don't. You, you actually don't have to do this. Um, so let's say, for example, it's just something I like to do. So kind of show you a little bit of what it would look like. So I'm kind of sitting down here. All of a sudden, I see that you know they send Scotty Miller in motion. I flip my play, grab the other safety, and pretty much just do it like this because the nickel corner kind of follows him, and now I've got a pretty good advantage against everything, and pretty much everything is flipped off of what I want to do. That's one of the things that U-Trips does that most people don't realize is you're actually changing the strong side of the formation, and thus you're changing some of the rules that the match coverage has. Now, that being said, if you don't, let's say, for example, that you're watching this and you're like, I don't want to do that. That's too much for me. I don't want to make that additional adjustment. Well, that's fine. So you're still standing right here with this guy right here. Now, what you need to do, though, is let's say that they call the play curl flat, for example, and they motion, and they motion this guy. Well, what you want to do here is when they go into motion, put this guy to inside quarter and grab the middle linebacker. Don't worry about the tight ends as much anymore. But when they go in motion, now we've got pretty good coverage. We're still lurking over the middle of the field just like we were before. Um, but now we don't have to worry about the tight end. What you want to do is you want to inside quarter the safety and then real quickly blitz your user. So the way that it would practically look, this guy's in man coverage on the tight end. I've got a bluff blitz, a spy, and then I'm blitzing right here, right? So let's say, you know, just kind of get a, a basic route concept here. Something like this, something you would probably see. So they go in motion. I'm going to inside quarter him, click onto him and blitz him. There's the defense. They snap the ball. And now you see, you know, pretty good coverage. The tight end was open to the flat, but pretty decent coverage all in all. So those are kind of some simple adjustments that you can do out of quarters that will certainly help the defense. Like I said, uh, I think it actually is very valuable uh, to flip the play when they do this motion, even if it means you don't get as adapted. So uh, you, your user in here, they and, and you've got your all your adjustments set. All of a sudden, they motion. Just flip the play, grab this guy right here, or the three rack, and then just bluff blitz a guy real quick. You know, most people can get this off here. They just, you know, simply flip the play, grab this guy, bluff blitz the three rack. Now all of a sudden, you've got a pretty good chance at guarding that wheel route that is so popular, and you'll guard it pretty much either way. But but the point is. You can kind of move the quarters if you want to. You just have to be aware of this, that whenever they motion, and, and this is something I've, I have talked about before, but I'm not going to talk about it today, but whenever they motion this guy across, they're no longer in trips, right? They're in two by two. They have two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left, and it just so happens that this guy, the running back, is in the middle of the field. Well, against that, whenever we're playing quarters against two by two sets, I typically don't like to use her as safety, right? I typically like to use her a, uh, a middle linebacker. So I look something like this, and now I've got a pretty good coverage that can kind of hang with everything that they're going to do. I'm going to carry that crosser, and as you can see. So just kind of understand that it's really, you know, in the motion, they're creating two different formations. The way you defend U-trips to trips, and then the way you defend U-trips to motion, completely different defenses. Still the same, but at the same time still different. So, you know, we could have a, a look that looks kind of like this, and then they motion, you know, they decide, well, you know, we're going to send uh, Scotty Miller in motion. And then you say, okay, well, this guy's going to go in a quarter. I'm going to get back on this guy right here. And, uh, you know, we're going to roll with this. Well, now I've got pretty good coverage on the wheel. 
as you can see. So that's one of the best routes in the game that this is able to shut down. And then you're also basically saying, okay, I'm going to work from the tight end, and then I'm going to come back over the middle of the field and take the crossers. You're going to have pretty good match defense against U-Trips. U-Trips one of the best offenses in the game. This is how I would use match, uh, at least a starting point, where you could shut it down. If you want to learn more about this, grab the Patreon. The Patreon literally teaches you everything, everything you need to know in detail, uh, and kind of explains the, the the deeper piece of it, the why behind what's happening. It really walks you through step by step exactly what you need to do. So, thanks for watching. If you want to get the the Patreon membership, so you can get all those eBooks, there's a link in the description. Head on down to the description and click the link and go check out that membership. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.